Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So cold. So cold. I forgot this place was so cold, you guys. All right. Before we can do anything, oh my gosh, everybody is trembling. We need to go ahead and pull out some of the hot mist that we have, wherever it happens to be hiding. Oh my gosh. Where's my hot mist? I really need it in order to be able to go ahead and like not freeze to death. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Hot mist protects all allies from frostbite. Keeps you toasty warm until you return to a location's headquarters. Well, that's my bad. I went back to go ahead and make my hair look nice. And for that, the cost of my vanity was becoming extremely frozen. No, thank you. <laughs> But it looks like everybody is feeling better and we are ready for more adventure. So welcome, welcome everyone back to Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. And I hope you guys can forgive me. For me, it's been a very long time since I have been tromping on in these adventures because I've been very busy with our pixel biology adventures and a lot of traveling in real life. So if I, you know, trip over my own feet a little bit in the next few days, please forgive me. We'll catch up. And besides, look at how cool we have of our new partner. I love that she goes ahead and like plays instruments to be able to help us too. And look at Frostfang. Oh my gosh. I wish I could like research more information about Frostfang, but I don't think we have any kind of field notes in our Monsterpedia. Oh my gosh. I still love the little kettle bees. They are so cute. Yeah, I don't think we have any field notes in our Monsterpedia about Frostfang's type yet, even though that would be so amazing. So maybe we'll run into some of the monsters that he is at some point. Ah, oh, all right, we'll have to do some adventuring. But welcome back. So we're actually heading off with Avi uh, Aviina right now to do some investigating in Laloska Forest so that we can try to figure out what has been going wrong for the villagers and their precious land. And also, let's go ahead and do a little bit of digging trap tools. I really need to start using these trap tools. I haven't actually used them. And what I really need to start doing is also getting some materials, maybe from these guys, we'll have to see so that I can try to make some warm armor because I think all of the villagers are kind of laughing at the fact that I have been running around in some like very subpar armor. Chill shrooms. And I also want to see what, oh, oh, there they are. What all the monsties of the area are. We have so much cool research we could be doing down here. Oh, look how shiny. Okay, we'll explore over there later. But right now, let's head down the mountain. Oh, look at all these mushrooms. What kind of mushrooms grow like in a, a snowy meadow? That would be really cool to see. But for now, we're actually adventuring with all of our little newbies. We have Ratha and Seki with us and Ranmar so that we can go ahead and jump on things. But I also brought Terry, who is actually up there on level now, Baroth, the Baroth we just hatched, and the Legombi we just hatched as well. I'm really excited to see what they actually can do and what they can grow up into. So we're gonna keep a good eye on them. And meanwhile, oh, the forest looks so much warmer. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. What is that? You guys. You guys. Look at this. This royal monster. What on earth? He's so cool. I really want to poke him. He's just taking a nap over here where there's some hot springs keeping the woodlands warm. Oh, I really, 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 really want to go ahead and like poke him but it could be very dangerous. All right, and now we've opened up the catavan stand so they could guide us back over here because we've not yet beat a royal monster and considering the fact, yeah, I might not want to poke him just yet, but he's so cool. I really, really want to get one of his eggs. Oh my gosh. All right, considering the fact that we have a bunch of new monsters with us, it's probably not a great idea. Oh, look, and a bunch of hot peppers and sap plants grow here. Oh, this is so cool. And of course our well mill meat, wheat even. <laughs> Sorry, just woke up extremely cold. So excited to find a forest full of hot springs though. Oh, another kind of stand, nice. Ah, it looks like that, yep, yep, yep. Thank you, Naviru. We opened up another kind of stand. <gasps> Are those like apes? Okay, I have a thing where I'm a little bit nervous around monkeys and apes and gorillas and the like. Oh my gosh, they are. Except they look like an, a gorilla and a hippo had a baby and then dyed it like bright pink. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's try to get past these guys. I want whatever they're, they're standing next to though. Oh wait, no! <laughs> I was like, oh wait, they're not actually rushing us, but they are! 
<laughs> what the heck are these things? Congas? Oh dear. Okay, so they're coming in with power attacks, so we'll try to go ahead and get them with some speed. All right, come on, Rafa. How rude. All right, so let's see. Rafa, you're actually pretty good with speed, so let's do that. And can, if you could just help me out here, uh, that would be amazing. Aviana is like so good. Avi's so good at this though. All right, nice speed attacks. And they come in with power attacks. Oh my gosh, they're so strong. I've, all right, we've got to show these guys like what for, because if we're gonna like come into the forest and everybody is going to think they can mess with us like this, that's not gonna help us. Uh, can I switch to a better weapon? Let's see, 50, let's do, there we go. My big hammer. That should go ahead and take care of you guys. Oh, Avi, don't do it. Oh no. <laughs> She's doing tech attacks. All right, come on. Yeah, how do you like that, you little brats? All right, come on, Rafa. Hopefully he'll start doing some more attacks too. All right, let's do this. There we go. And then it looks like everybody's backed off a little bit, but we'll do some more speed attacks. Oh my gosh, I love how she does music. Maybe she could teach us some of her music. Oh no. Really? Okay, I hate these things. They're disgusting. They're exceptionally disgusting. Rafa also seems to not like these things. Okay, that's really terrible. That's absolutely terrible. These guys have no dignity. Yes, two of them are down. All right, they're not so hard to defeat as I thought they would be. I really have no patience for, for these creatures. All right, did that take him out? Come on. There we go! All right, so we did manage to actually take them out. Now we know what they are. Do they give you any kind of items? Oh, hey, Carrie just learned Killer Tail. All right, you do get some conga pelts, so I wonder if that would actually be useful. And a whole bunch of stink shrooms. I bet their entire diet is just stink shrooms, and that is why they are, like, ridiculously disgusting. All right, well, at least we're gonna get out of here. They also are eating garlic. That makes so much sense. If they just spend their whole day eating garlic and stink shrooms, they too would absolutely reek. All right, there's a normal egg. I guess we do need to collect some of the eggs that are scattered around here. Oh my gosh. Oh no, they have a boss. Uh-uh. I just want what's in the chest. The rest of you <laughs> can leave me alone. All right, so we grab that. I definitely hope those guys aren't monsters that you can actually like get eggs from because that would suck. We're still being chased. Now we're no longer being chased. All right, well, let's actually check our notes. A little curious. Monstipedia. Let's see. That's our monsties. Monsterpedia. Let's see. So did that get recorded? Because over here we have our Zamnites and our Zamtrios that we ran into. Oh, there they are! The Conga! Pink bird fang beast. They generally prefer to live in a small... Whoops. <laughs> I had to go ahead and try to take a picture of that, and now I've just, like, ruined everything. That's fine. I found them. Pinkford, small, uh, Pinkford fanged beasts. They generally prefer to live in small, close-knit groups rather than large troops. Especially fond of mushrooms. They have been known to attack <gasps> any who carry them. No wonder they're chasing me. I'm full of all sorts of delicious mushrooms I've been collecting for ages. All right, we got to get out of here. If we are, like sensitive to their attacks because they like mushrooms. I am unfortunately their perfect victim. Oh, what are those? I thought they were pretty flowers and I was going to try to go and get them. All right, cold resistance, which would be great to have. Dragonite ore. Yeah, I thought these were pretty little flowers, but they're actually monsties. The kind that I think Seki likes to eat. <gasps> what are you? Okay, you're so pretty. Okay, oh, you're so angry. You're so pretty and angry. I mean, I guess we need to show everybody that they can't just mess with us in the forest like this. Why are there two monsters and I only see one? There's a Geyserips and a Conchu, a blue Conchu. Okay, so I wonder what we should do. Maybe a technical attack just to try it out. Is it speed or strength that this guy has? We don't know yet. Oh, look at everything. You know what? I think we actually should go ahead and try to break the beak. The beak looks pretty dangerous if you ask me. So we'll see what kind of blow we can go ahead and deliver. Maybe a technical one to the head. Oh, double attack, nice. Oh, they're on it. 
I should be doing double attacks with Rafa as well. Oh, what? A tiny, there it is, the little Kanchu, the tiny little Kanchu is just on the ground there. I didn't even notice. All right, let's see if we can do a double attack with Saki. All right, soothing sounds. Still wanna learn Avi songs, because I think that'd be really cool. Ice Cyclone. Ineffective, okay, so that guy actually does have. Oh, part broken. Oh, he's down already? Geist ropes, okay, uh, let's see. So he was using power attack, so we're gonna go ahead and do some speed attacks on him then. And this time I'm gonna go for the tail, maybe? That was a pretty good attack, actually. And Avi was helping me out here too. Yeah, everybody's doing power attacks now that he's down. Man, Frost Strike is so cool. And then everyone's just ignoring this tiny little Kanchu. Oh, there we go. Come on, Rafa, you got it. Oh, I feel so bad for his little stubby wings. Poor Rafa, I can't even fly. Okay, so now this guy's really mad. Oh, he looks so cool though. All right, so I think he's doing a lot of power attacks. And then we're gonna go after, should I bother with, like the Kanchu's just a little bit of a distractor. All right, let's try the tail again. All right, no, now he's doing technical attacks. All right. Going in with some power attacks would have been better, but oh, something dropped. Tail whip combo. Ah, oh, see, it was worth it to try to destroy the tail. All right, that Kanchu is just kind of a little annoying. Uh, let's see, are we going? Oh, I think the tail broke. All right, soothing sounds. Avi is gonna make sure everyone's okay and Frostfang's really throwing himself into the battle. I'm proud of him. All right. I wonder if I should like hit this guy with some paintballs. Oh, Kanchu! Oh no, <laughs> they're both down. Oh, I wanted to try to get like one of his eggs. Oh, look at how far Lagombi and Baroth have like leveled up, and Baroth no now knows a Wild Breaker, deals light non-elemental damage to one enemy, low chance to lower defense for three turns. Okay, that's a really cool Baroth. And we have some rubbery hide, highly elastic geist rope hide, a good insulator and resistant to electricity and some of its webbing. Oh, maybe I can make something to keep myself warm. All right, good to know. Ratha, good job. Meanwhile, I'm kind of curious about our monsties. Let's see. So I am curious to see. So Ratha's power, Seki is technical, and then speed would be at Lagombi. Let's see, Ranmar is also speed, Terry speed, Baroth is also speed. Okay, so we really are like high up on the speed that we've got everybody on, and Ratha is our only power at the moment. Uh, it would be really fun to see what the Lagombi can do. It seems pretty adorable. And then I would really like to see what the Baroth can do, just out of curiosity. But we should probably be collecting some more eggs too. Uh, should we investigate this den? Oh man, but... There's just so many monsties like out outside like this. Wait, did we just pass like a treasure chest? No, that was just for the den. All right, we're gonna investigate a little bit more. So there's more congas. They could just be ignored. Ooh, butterfly, thunderbugs. So all of a sudden we're running into a lot about like electricity resistance, which makes me a little nervous, a little curious, a little nervous. Looks like we'll have to go past the conga after all. Dragonite ore, oh, what could I do with that? I've been needing to find some rare ores so that we can actually go ahead and start like leveling up some of our armor properly too. Ooh, and honey, excellent. Well, there's lots and lots of stuff to gather from the depths of this forest, it seems. Hey, our expedition party, ah, we got it tackled. I was really hoping we could get away from those congas. All right, so they're all about power attacks, which means we need to be all about speed. All right, you are a brat, sir. I'm gonna go for your, your head. Oh, no, no, he is technical. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, I gotta learn their patterns. Don't sass me, Naviru, I'm sorry. I got used to them being all like brute strength and disgustingness. All right, well, let's see. If he's gonna do that, time to switch weapons. We're gonna go ahead. Should I get my Cataclysm Sword out? Skill Blast Fire Chaser. Like, I need to start learning how to use my weapon skills more often. Look at her little determined face, it's so cute. All right, let's go for the head. Meanwhile, Avi is keeping us all. Oh yes, double attack! Yes, item dropped! Oh, he's down! And meanwhile, Rafa just wants to, uh, you know what? 
If this, if we need some speed, we should definitely be switching monsties. And let's actually get out. Let's actually get out the Lagombi and see if it is the killer rabbit that I am assuming it might be. Look at it go, the killer rabbit koala. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's do another power attack on the body. All right, seem to be doing something. The Gombi going with speed attack. Oh, I hate these congas. They're so gross, but they're eating the stinky mushrooms and like all of the garlic. So I guess it makes sense. No, ineffective attack because they're, again, the attacks that have anything to do with ice are ineffective against them because I think their fur keeps you really warm. And I have to admit, maybe it would be good for us to go ahead and try out their fur just to see if we can stay nice and warm. And what can my killer rabbit do? Let's find out. All right, so we're gonna use the kinship skill. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, so it can do like a really adorable, oh, there's a power attack noted. Like little spin, that's so cute. Okay, we're gonna figure out how to watch that. Okay, and this guy wants to go ahead and fight me. I think he does mostly technical attacks. Let's see, oh no, now it's a power attack. Are you kidding? What's ground cyclone? <gasps> Why does she always look so cool? Like everything that she and her Frostfang do, always so freaking cool. Unfortunately, this guy is like well insulated. So I don't know how well this is gonna work, but. All right, defeated! Look at the claws on that thing! Jeez! All right, look at me! All right, and we got a, quite a few more pelts, which is wonderful. And Mandragora, Mandra, uh, Mandragora, there we go. A dangerous mushroom believed to take the life of those who dare to pick it. It's used to create all sorts of items. Well, a lot of people must be dying then. And then some of their claws, nice! All oh, right, I think I'm starting to like get back into the flow of things, even if part of the flow of things is being absolutely terrified of getting uh, getting surrounded by very, very stinky, what on earth are those? By very, very stinky, terrifying gorillas. I'm just not a fan. But all right, guys, we're back. Oh, dang it. We're back and we are exploring this amazing forest that has definitely been nurtured. Why are they all gonna attack me? Like, don't you do that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Oh no, they're technical too! I guess you have to have the power to just like go ahead and literally smash them. We'll try to get rid of them. <laughs> but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me as we return to Monster Hunter Stories 2. It's gonna take me just a little bit to settle back in, but when we do, I am very excited. That's right, get out of here. Go on, get! Nasty little things. Nasty. But when we do, I'm so excited to discover more of the monsties that are waiting for us to try to figure out how they make their way in the world and what kind of ecosystems they would fit into. And also to maybe make some more friends. The story is really intriguing me and I want to see if we can protect and take care of Ratha. It's not his fault that, you know, he hatched. It's not his fault he was born with no wings. I feel like people should be, should be like nicer to him than not. So we'll see where the story takes us. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally at thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, I can pet things now? What? Okay, that's very, very important. And we're going to have to try that out next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.